In this video, we are going to talk about our FYP project. My name is Chan Xin Yao and I'm teaming with Taiwan Tech. Our FYP project title is Chat Application and we are um, aiming for college users the title. Yeah. And we are using ASP.NET Core Web API as our backend and Vue.js single page application as our front end. We, the objective of the FIP project is to explore more new web technology such as progressive web application. Let's talk about our demo account data we have. Uh, we have only one admin uh, on our website, which is this email and a list of user uh, sample, uh, sample user in here. And then all password for all this email is password. Okay. So let's dive into the features. Right now I'm displaying two screens. On the left is desktop and on the right is on my mobile screen, which casts from my Android to Google Meet. Yeah. So right now I want to um, log in as an admin first to demonstrate you the admin feature. On the login, you can also toggle the eyes to see the password. So let me just log in. Uh, once you log in, right, he will navigate you to the home page of chat application. You can allow the notification, uh, he will prompt. So uh, I will just allow it and then uh, you navigate. I will navigate to the admin site by clicking on this. So this site is only uh, visible on the admin only. Uh, yeah, so you can create account by clicking on this plus icon. And then you just enter email and your, your name. And the eating, yeah. So once the account is created, he will be listed in here. And then the account is created after that, he will also send an email to the to the user as well. So I'm using MailTrap to simulate the email sending uh, simulation. Uh, so imagine the e user is receiving this email and click on this. And then, uh, then the user click on this link to set their password for their new account. So let's enter password, there is a password. And then the password has been set. You will automatically log, uh, go to login screen and then you just wait as the e-ping again. So, okay, right now you are logged in as eping, then you can chat with everyone. Else. And then uh, I want to show you uh, another admin feature, so I will just log out and then log in, log in again uh, on the admin side. So it's loading. And then uh, let me go to account. Actually, uh, if I go to full screen, uh, you actually have two panels, so you can like edit in two. Like, I can see see in two panel uh, so you can like this edit yeah so you can also edit uh, name uh, edit so edit then you will also update in here uh, edit and then you can also delete but the delete function is only allowed if the account doesn't have any private chat and group chat yet so let's say the uh, eping just now is newly created it can be deleted because it doesn't use uh, yeah it doesn't have any chat so let's say if I uh, it, uh, I mean delete the child's account because child's account has already have some chart history on their account so if I click on delete and, and then uh, click on yes then you will say cannot delete this account as this account already have private chart and group chart available so yeah and then I mean I mean you can also uh, edit yourself as well you can edit your, uh, your name but you cannot delete yourself because you are uh, I mean you are your own account so not allowed to delete your account yeah because this kind of validation and then um, uh, you can also search, yeah, search because it's highlighting. Yeah, you can search name and email lah, both. And then uh, you can also toggle dark mode and light mode. Yeah, if you toggle this, then you become light. Toggle this, become dark. I prefer dark, so I just go for that. And then chat, chat is to go back to the home page of chat application. You can refresh in here. You can log out in here. And then um, I think that's all for this. Yep. So I was just now I was saying. The page was very responsive. If I squeeze it, you become like this. You become a mobile view. Yeah. So in mobile, it will be view like this, and then you can go back to become like this. Yeah, which is very cool. And then log out. Okay. So after I log out, right, I want to see. Uh, ah, I want to show you the forgot password. Forgot password is just you have to request the reset password link by typing your email. So. Um, after that, you will send you and reset password link, okay? And then I go to mail trap, and then I will receive it. Okay, go here, and I click the reset password link, and then I add the new password. Okay. okay, password has reset, and I just uh, log in as the admin, just I mean, uh, as the password I just set up. Uh, yeah. 
pain. Okay, so I will just uh, go to the chat application homepage. Okay, so in the homepage, you can also edit. I mean, you can also change password as well uh, by typing your old password and then your new password and then also confirm the password. They just click create. create. No password change it. Okay, so you can also edit profile. Edit profile, you can only edit image, email, and name cannot be edited. So, and then uh, you can also set image to default means that this photo is uh, will be changed to become like this yeah so it will be set back to default but you have to refresh the page to see the changes uh, after you have updated so let us refresh so yeah it will become like this yeah. so upload image file also the same you can uh, upload uh, four type of, of file gif png jpeg and and jpg yeah so let's let's say i will upload gif I upload image okay then he will uh, upload you have to also refresh the page <coughs> then he will say uh, image uploaded okay we also got built-in camera so yeah he will prepare the camera and you have to allow the camera yeah yeah oh this is me um uh, my camera broke <laughs> Okay, just now was fine. I don't know why it was broke now. Never mind, so I will just capture it. Uh, yeah, become like this already. Uh, you can also take again if you don't like the picture. Okay, so I just take again and then capture. Wow, very clear. Wow. Okay, then upload. Okay, so image updated. You also have to refresh. Yeah, very troublesome, I know. <laughs> because the image one was very hard to real time update. Yeah, I will just. Uh, we will just uh, refresh the page to see the changes. So yeah, um, and then uh, yeah, edit profile and and change password has been shown. And then ah uh, yeah, I want to show you this thing. The reason chart is show you showing you the the reason chat history lo. And then the contact is showing you all the all the user you can chat with. Yeah, you can also search the user as well uh, with name and email. Yeah. So let me see what other feature we have. Um. Oh, wait, 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 and we don't want to uh, talk about this. I want to talk about this uh, install as an app. Uh, so you might see that the the app can be installable on the top. You can click on install to install the app. So I will just click on install. So once you install the app, right, you can become, it will become a standalone desktop app or mobile app. Yeah, right now it's desktop app. Lah. So uh, yeah, become like this already. So when you uh, go back to your or original screen, then you can see that the icon is installed. And let's say if you close this and then you double click this uh this app then you become a desktop app that open yeah very cool okay and then next next is oh yeah and then the next i also want you i mean i also want to show you the the mobile how how mobile install install the app so let's say i click on install uh, in here so so i just click on install Okay, so once you install, you pull down this thing, and then he will say he's adding the, uh, the chat. Yeah, he, he say added to home screen. You just click on this, then he will navigate you to the uh, app already. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the app. So let's say you go back, go back, then you scroll, scroll, scroll. You can see that the the app is installed in here. So you can click on this to open the app again. So right now. <coughs> Uh, I will just uh, log in as as Leo, Leo Gmail dot com, and password. Okay. So right now I have already logged in as Leo, and then you have to allow notification in here. Okay. So uh, Leo doesn't have reason chat, so that's why he say no reason chat. Okay. So uh, the good thing about PWA right, the progressive web app, is to catch the page. So let's say I open my Dev tool, my Dev tool. Okay. And then um I go offline. Right. Okay, you can see that the, there is no internet connection on top. Uh, it will display if you have no internet connection. Yeah, and then you you refresh the page, refresh, refresh the page, and then you go back to your dev to, dev tool. You you can see that the page is still working. It doesn't have showing the four four o four page like other website do. So he also got we also got implement the retrying method means that. One, if you doesn't have any internet, then you keep retrying and trying until you have internet connection to be on. So let's say if I go back to online, no trolling, no trolling, okay. No means that you are online. Okay. Then uh, yeah, you say you are connected, wow. Then uh, you automatically load, 
yeah, which is a cool cool feature to have. So, uh, let's say if I go to Facebook lah, if I go to Facebook, and then I I um, I open my dev dev tool in here. Let me just go to this. Uh, and then uh, right now is offline. Let's say offline, and then I refresh my page. Refresh my page. It it will always be like this. No internet. Uh, because it doesn't implement uh, service worker means uh, means that the PWA uh, progressive web app. So yeah, that's why he didn't have catching. Yeah. So we have catching, so that's why the page will still work, which doesn't show the dinosaur thing. I mean the dinosaur no internet the uh, page. Yeah. So yeah, I already show you the catch page, request you try. Let's talk about yeah, dark mode line mode. Dark mode line mode actually also can be uh, uh can be viewed in here. Let's say if you select a chat and then you click on dark mode, light mode, then you become light mode. Uh, then you can also click on this, and then become dark mode. Yeah. So, uh, recent chat. Okay, recent connect already talked about. Online feature and offline feature. Okay, online feature and offline feature. Okay, just now, uh, this one, uh, let me just become like this already. Uh. Let me just become showing my phone. So, uh, let's say I log out on my mobile. You can see the layout right now is off offline. Uh. So, if I log back in, it will become online. Yeah. So password and then login. Then he will become online. Ah, you can see that. Ah, the green, green, green dots in here online. And then uh, next is let's see what are the feature. Um, some close. Um, yeah, notification count. Notification count is um. Let's say I go to reason and then Liao want to talk with. Like a, uh, uh, I mean. I mean, yeah, and then I, I, I click on Liao, I eh, not Liao, uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, Liao to I mean, okay, and then I say hello in here, okay, so once you say, you say hello, like, you, you append, prepend the message in here, and then, uh, yeah, you got notification count in here, so you can, let's say, uh, say hello to, then you will increment, uh, yeah, and then I click on this, then he will see the message, and he will have blue tick, means that you have seen the message, huh? So let's say the blue tick thing or the blue tick. Let's say if I didn't have any, if I didn't see the message, the 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 tick will become white, not blue. Yeah. So if I click on this, then you become immediately blue lah. Yeah. This is the scene status. Okay. Oops. Uh, let's see what a feature. Okay. I have already talked about notification count. Okay. Send chat. Send chat is you can send a chat. Just now I have shown on my mobile. You can also send back. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah. My mobile receive okay, and then um, I also want to show you link conversion. So let's say I copy this link and I paste here, you become a link that is clickable. I also want to show you the phone conversion, means that if you enter your phone, phone number, he will become a clickable link. So I click on it, then you can call the phone number. Let's say on my mobile, I click click on the link, you become a callable, then you can call. Yeah. So I also want to show you the email conversion. We can also enter your email to convert to become a link. If you click on it, then he will navigate you to the email site. Yeah, this is my desktop uh, site. Uh, yeah, and then on my mobile, if I click on the email, he will show you. Uh, he will show you. Yeah, like this. Uh, uh, email service that you can send email to. Uh. Okay. Next, offline sending. Okay, let's talk about offline sending. Let's say if I go offline, I open up my Dev Two again. I go back to offline. Then he will say no internet connection, right? So uh, if I send well, offline, well, offline, okay. So hello. So you can see that the message won't be sent, of course, because you are offline. <laughs> okay. So if you click on try again, you you won't be share, sent, of course, uh, because I I was in offline mode. So let's say if I go back online, go back online, you can send again by clicking on the try again. Once you click try again, he will become uh, sendable. So you might notice that we have three status, blue tick, white tick, and clock icon. Clock icon means you are sending, but you have, uh, which is field to send in here. So you can also delete, delete the message in here. So he won't be sent. Yeah. So yeah, this is the offline feature. Uh, so let's say I go back to here, okay. Okay, send location. Send, send location is, uh, you can also send location on your desktop so you can just click on this send current location and then you have to allow your uh, your your permission to send your location then he will send it okay and then uh you can click on this to view the google map yeah so 
the location of my of my of my of my house yeah and then yeah on my mobile also can you can also click on this to view the location very cool okay so let me just go back yeah. okay no okay. and then uh and then send contact okay send contact is you can send a contact by clicking on this and then but but the contact uh, on desktop it doesn't work the contact api is only supported in android phone only yeah so let's say i go to android uh, on my phone yeah and then you click on send contact you can see that the contact a list of contact in here and then you can uh, filter up if you want to fill, uh, uh, give up names or email address or phone number details or not so if you can if you want to send some name i mean some some user information you can send like a list of it and then you click on done then you automatically become this format yeah you will say yeah this uh, who is this name who is this email if no telephone then you will say a bracket no telephone if no email then you say no bracket no no email yeah okay so that's for the contact upload a list of file okay you you can upload a list of file by clicking on this and then upload files okay upload a list of file um i got some sample in here desktop desktop yeah so in 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 sample data yeah so i can upload upload pdf i mean uh ah you can only upload 10 mb below the file 10 mb below and then you can only upload this type of image this type of audio this type of video and this type of document means that it was downloadable lah, if it was a document so let's say if i uh, want to um, um, uh, upload document then you will come like this yeah you can also upload a list of document i mean a list of uh file lah, a list. Yeah, so let's say I, I upload two then you upload one by one lah. so right now he's uploading uh, uh what is it uh audio and then the second one will be coming soon let's wait for a while um hmm wait hmm he doesn't upload um never mind i think there is a glitch there uh so you can drag and drop drag and drop as well so let's say i drag and drop in here drag and drop two two file uh just now i glitch you, can, you see it uh yeah <laughs> it wasn't a bug yeah some some network connection problem lah. yeah so uh I just now have upload i mean drag and drop this mp3 file and also intern.txt file so yeah he's still uploading um yeah wait for it so my mobile is received yeah okay still receiving yes i mean still sending mm, let's wait for a while okay so while waiting right let's talk about another feature is copy and paste file Copy and paste file is um you go to any image, you go to any image, uh, image online, okay. And then you go to image. You have to right click on some image and then you click on copy image, and then you you can paste on the text field. Then you automatically uh send the message. Huh? Yeah. I also want to mention that uh, you can also expand the text field by pressing the shift key and then enter yeah you can see that he is expanding so let's say i can if you, if you want to write a long text right you can do this so if you press enter key means that you send uh, without pressing the shift uh. yeah so i just send actually the mobile also the same the mobile works different uh, because the enter key is different from the keyboard enter so uh, uh so i just uh hello and then when you says uh, uh press the enter key this this enter key uh, okay so i will just enter 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 so if you want to send right you just click on the send button yeah this send button oh. okay so i've sent send a message yes. okay so next uh, next is speech reconnection speech reconnection is you can speech on the on the on the on the i mean on the microphone then you it will convert to text so i will just allow it the microphone so after allow it you have to click on it again okay so right now i'm speaking english uh so i will just hello hello okay then yeah you will print out all the all the all the grammar all the text in here okay and, it, and then i just click stop so you just print here -da, okay so yeah and then I just click on send you can also want to uh, change language also can yeah if you want to say uh uh okay <laughs> okay uh okay uh 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 ah ah and then stop <laughs> okay so and then just press send okay 
yeah so after that um next is um yeah about the mobile also can uh, mobile, uh let me show you the mobile okay why did it come like this so i just allow oops the mobile works different uh. you you don't have to choose okay eh? hello hello i mean you have to choose no don't have, don't have to choose you have to choose first before you speak yeah <laughs> uh so let's say i want to speak what um uh whatever lah uh, english also can hello 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 hey eh? it doesn't work oh. oh um sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't because this technology is very new because uh yeah the, very new uh wasn't very uh ma mature enough uh like not very stable enough yeah not very stable so yeah never mind lah, if it doesn't work so this topic okay so next um ah audio recording audio recording is just click on this and then you can hello hello ah, i mean you can speak lah. yeah and then you just click send after you send it then my mobile will receive and then you just play okay. Hello, hello. I mean, you can speak. Then you can hello, hello. Yeah, I mean, you can speak. Uh, both also can hear audio. And then audio singleton means that you can only have one audio on your. Eh? Yeah, I clicked click the wrong thing. Right? Uh, wait, for, wait for a while. You can only have one audio wow, uh, in the apps. So let me show you the thing. So let's say I upload some some audio. Uh. Let me say let's say uh, I upload this three three audio. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's just wait for a while for for him to load the the thing. <clears throat> okay. So uh, he's still sending. Let's wait for a while. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, he's still standing. Okay, he's still standing. <clears throat> okay, never mind. Just uh, present. Uh, so uh, if I click on this click audio, this, right? And then you can hello. If I click hello, on this audio, uh, and then immediately click on this audio. He will stop the previous audio and let the current audio play. This one wasn't built in one. This one wasn't built in one. Uh, we have to program it this way to, to so that the audio won't be conflict with another audio. Yeah. So you let's say play, play, play. Yeah. This one wasn't built in. Yes. Then yeah. Okay. Very cool. And then uh, next. Next is the media session API. First, uh, talk about media session API. Okay. The media session API is uh. Let's say you're playing like this song, uh, or this song. Uh, let's say I click on this. You can see the name of the sender, and you can also pause it in here. This one is media session API, and then uh, you can see the photo of the sender as well. Yeah. You can also toggle the picture in picture mode to to directly like do any. If you are doing anything, you can also view the view the view the site. Uh. Yeah. So yeah. So let me just close it. Okay. On mobile. <coughs> on mobile it was very interesting as well so let's say if i play this okay and then i go back he's hey, he's still playing he's still playing but he just suddenly paused right here so let me just play yeah you can uh play the audio while you are navigating doing something else so uh yeah even in lock screen night like, he will also play it. so let's say if i lock the screen and right now i'm in lock screen he's still playing yeah. So you can pause it in here. So if you want to remove, you can just remove it. Yeah. Okay. So let me just get back to here. <coughs> next, I mean next is delete message. Yeah, delete message. Delete message. You can delete any message. Um. Eh, I don't know why there is a clock here. Uh, sometimes there is a glitch because the network wasn't very stable. Uh, you just refresh it, then it will works. Ah, it will works. Yeah. Let me just refresh that. <clears throat> yeah, very slow. Uh, the network slow. Uh, I will just delete on my mobile. Uh, so that if I delete this here, yeah, delete. you click on the three dot. Uh, because you are not a sender, so you have to click on this. If you are a sender, you can delete your the message you have sent. If I click on delete message, you can see that 
the message is deleted in here. Wait. Because just now is at the time of loading, uh, yeah. So uh it oh no no it was in here. I uh this one is the the receiver one. So yeah, message deleted, you can see that. So let's say if I want to delete this thing, delete message. Okay. You can see that uh message deleted. Wow, very cool. Very uh which is you can revert back what you do lah. Yeah. And then you can also delete any other message. Yeah. This message was okay. So if I delete. Uh, it takes time, uh, maybe you need a while. I think, yeah, he's lagging. Yeah. <laughs> okay, message deleted. And then, uh, next. Copy image. Copy image is, you just click on three dot and then copy image. After you copy image, right, he will say your image is copied and then you can paste it on your, on anything. So I just paste it in here, then you print, yeah. So yeah, I receive. Okay. And then uh, you can also copy message. You can copy message in here. Then message copy, you can paste and then send. Okay. That's for the copy. Share image. Share message. Share image is you just click here and then click on share. And then you pop up a share, share thing. I mean the share platform for you to share. You can share it via your email, yeah, via other software. So let's say if on my mobile, if I want to share, I share this and then click on share. So he's opening share. I click on WhatsApp. Say I send to myself. Oh, okay. Then I click on send. Then yeah, you can share stuff like this. Yeah. This one is called share API. Yeah, you can also share message as well. You want to yeah, share message and go to here, share. And click share. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's for the thing. Okay, next is um Next, uh, next is speech synthesis. Okay, speech synthesis is like Google Xiao Jie. Uh, uh, it will automatically speak to you, not speak to you lah, like help you to speak lah. Uh, you can uh go to speech message, and then you can speak lah. Uh, I mean like you choose the language you you want you want him to speak. And then you can choose the speed and the pitch. Let's say at the pitch I click on low and then I speak like this. Click on speak. Contact one, contact info, chance, uh, like <laughs> yeah. so you can stop the stop the speech as well. You can click on this stop icon. Okay. So let's say if you uh, on my mobile lah. Let's say on my mobile. If you want to speech, also can. Let's say I click on let's say uh, Chinese, Chinese also can. Then I click on speak. Contact one, contact info name, uh, Sometimes it will automatically convert to English uh, if he was detecting. Contact any English, uh, English, uh, English word. So he will automatically convert to English slang. Yeah, this is a uh, this is called speech synthesis API. Yeah. So since status I've already talked about, I have uh, the the double put tick one. Okay. And then the since status also get got this advanced feature called private message info. So uh, let's say I go to here. You can uh click any message and then click on message info. You can see that this, the message that sent and the message that have been read. So yeah, you can see uh, when he was, when the user is read, when the user is sent. Yeah. And then, yeah. So, but this one wasn't real time on. Let's say if I, um, the Liao, la, let's I mean, not Liao. I mean, the I mean is exit. And then I send an image. La, and not image. I mean, send a um, message. No, uh, I mean, uh, I, 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 I send hello. Yeah, hello. And then I click on here and I click on message info. Right now he doesn't read my yeah. So if I click on this, click on this, okay, um, it's loading, okay, click on this, then he will say hello in here. Means that you have read, but this one doesn't real time update one. He only real time update the blue tick. Yeah, he doesn't update the, the message info. Yeah, so you have to like go back here and then you click message info again. And then, yeah, then you say ah when he was read that. So that's for the thing, that's for the message info. Next, account info. Account info is just field account, nothing special. You skip, uh, I mean, uh, almost click the wrong thing. Right? Account info, yeah, this one. Uh, you just view the account, yeah, nothing special. Okay, so new meeting. New meeting is uh, very special, okay. So you just click on this and then you click on new meeting. New meeting, okay. So he will automatically send you the meeting to you. Then uh, you can click on the link on your mobile. On, a, on your mobile. So 
<coughs> and then you have to allow your camera and 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 microphone, or else you won't be going in. So uh, yeah, you can see my face. Okay, um, a very noisy. You can see the 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 mic function is good, and then the camera function is also good. You can also view the camera in here. Yeah, my camera desktop camera is broken, and you can also yeah like this. Huh? So uh, you can also request picture in picture mode. Uh, picture in picture mode is you can uh, unmute your mic in here. You can also view the camera in here. Yeah, like this. Yeah, and then you can also hang up. So if I hang up, then then he will exit. Yeah, you can see it on my mobile. He will exit. And then uh, on my mobile lah, the picture in picture mode doesn't support. So if I click on it, he will say he's not supported in your browser. Because picture in picture mode is only supported on Google Chrome version 92, desktop Google Chrome. Lah. Okay. And then you can also toggle dark mode and light mode as well. Lah. Yeah. You, you can also refresh in here. Then I just hang up. Lah. I will just click on the, on the, the, the red button, the hang up button. Yeah. Okay. So next. Unlimited scrolling top. I think just now you have seen uh, uh, like you can scroll, keep scrolling the top. You can see that the loading icon, right? If you keep scrolling, you will keep loading. You will keep loading. Yeah, you, can, you will keep loading. Yeah, this is the scrolling to top. It means that you will not load all, uh, or else if not all, it will be very lag if, uh, if it was newly entered, if the user is entering the page. So uh, after the message is loaded, right? Load, right? Then he will catch 30 message for navigate, navigate away. So let's say if I navigate away, navigate to here, okay? And then na and navigate back. The message is still here, but it will only catch 30 message in advance. Uh, like on 30 message on, on here, lah, yeah. So, but he's still loading, but uh, the previous one won't be uh, showing, yeah. So it only catch 30 message, yes. So, yep. Yeah. So new group, let's talk about new group. New group, uh, let's say I go to mobile, lah, uh, Mobile, say a new, new group. Okay. Uh, on desktop, also the same, yeah, new group. Okay. So I will just go mobile to create. So let's say I select all member to add new group. So you can also select uh, which user you want to choose. So let's say uh, I will just upload this thing. Just done. Okay. Then uh, group name. Group name is, uh, let's say, new group. I will just, and then after you click group name, I, you click on create. I mean the plus icon to create a group. So once he was created, created group, okay, he will say, yeah, Leo created this group, and then you go to here on my mobile, you can also go to here to see the message. Yeah, Leo created this group. Okay. And then um once you created this group, you can I mean the group chat is actually similar to private chat, except there is one tiny difference, very tiny one. Uh let's say I chat on both uh let's say I chat both. The tiny difference is that there's a name in here, yeah. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> so he can see that who sent the message, lah. Yeah, who are sending the message, yeah. This is a tiny different note. And then, uh, yeah, right now it doesn't have anyone to see, so that's why white tick, uh, Okay. And then I also want to demonstrate you the exit group. Uh, exit group, yeah, in here. So if I exit group, if I exit group, then you say you are no longer a participant and member in this group. So I mean exit group. So it means that you you cannot send message and receive message anymore. So let's say on my mobile I send message, hello, okay, then he won't receive it because he is exited. Yeah, then uh hello again, yeah, then he will receive. So uh once you exited, you also cannot view the group info anymore because you are exited. You are not allowed to view anything in here. You can only view the previous history of the chat. Yeah, so yeah, you can also view the previous history. Yes, and then uh, next. Let's say um um I want to talk about what already uh, let me see uh. the secret I already talked about I want to talk about group message info okay let's say on my mobile I go to group info info okay and then on my mobile yeah this is the group info okay and then you can see that all the all the details of the member we got six member one member has been exited yeah that's why yeah he, he say remove on which date yeah and then uh. Let's say I, uh, let's say, I, ah, about a group admin, right? Group admin can actually make, make people to, uh, 
uh, remove as well. Can remove people as well. So let's say if I log, I mean log in as um Ellie lah, Ellie. Sorry. Log in as Ellie. Okay, never. <coughs> so yeah, I got this group, new group. So Ellie, Ellie, you can remove him. So if I remove him, remove. He will immediately remove him, so you are no longer a member in this group. You can't chat anymore, and then he will say, "Liao, remove Ellie." Okay, so yeah, uh, you can also make someone to become admin, uh, Reno. So let's say I make someone to become admin, then you become uh, admin. No? So admin can do stuff like kick admin, I mean, kick admin, blah. kick remove, I mean, kick member, uh, dismiss admin, and also remove member. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, okay, dismiss as admin. So you can also dismiss admin, yeah. And then, yeah, that's all the admin could do. But this one wasn't real time one. Means that, um, means that, um, how to say, uh, let's say I log, I log out, log out, I mean, and, uh, log out, I mean, log in as Reno, Reno. So I, I can't type, uh, password. So, okay, and then never. <coughs> I go here. I go to group info. So uh, I want to assign him as an admin, micro admin. So he won't be a real time update. Yeah, you won't see that the group admin is here. Lah. So I we do, we doesn't uh, do this real time on here. We only do on chat, just like message info. Oh, talk about message info. I also want to show you the 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 blue tick thing. So the blue tick thing is different a bit on group message. This one will say, uh which user has been read, uh, has been uh, like, has been uh, read off, yeah, <laughs> has been read. And then uh, which message, I mean, which user has received the, the, the details, uh? yeah, you can see that. Yeah, which user has received the, 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 the message, yes. And next, next, uh, next is what? Next is, yeah, that's all of it. Oh yeah, about that, I also want to talk about the group chat uh we doesn't have time to do the add members already uh yeah last day already uh we also want to do the update group image and update group name but doesn't have any time anymore so now we won't be doing it this is our final product yeah and then the push notification talk about push notification um <clears throat> okay about push notification you have to allow it so you go to app info you have to make sure your notification is allowed and then you have to make sure this notification is on. Uh, what are the difference is the difference between this thing and on my side, this thing is this thing, I mean this notification is only applied to one device. Yeah, to your this device, yeah, one device. But this not this setting is applied to all device. If you on this notification, means that all device that you subscribe to this application will be receive ring notification from this application <laughs> yeah okay so ah, okay so this one is subscribed already um so i will just send message to him so in order to send message to this user this user have to be close have to close the application first because while viewing the application it doesn't make sense to view the notification so i have to just you have to just close the, the application first to view the notification yes <laughs> Okay, uh, so I, I send message, uh, I send message on my mobile. Okay, send message. Um, I think, hello. Oh, because I'm sharing my screen. That's why, yeah, because I'm sharing my screen, so that's why the notification won't be pop up. Well, never mind, uh, I can, never mind, you can test it yourself. Uh, I will just show the mobile, mobile, mobile first. Uh. So uh, just now, right? Uh, let's say just now I was logged in. Okay, this one is Liao. Uh, uh, this one is Liao. So this one is Liao. So I will just open the app again. Open the app again. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's talk about a new group. So let's say I open my app and then I go to here. Let's say my mobile are closing. Yeah, you can see that I removed the app already. Yeah. I mean, like close the app, not remove the app. Yeah, the app is still here. Okay, so I just send hello again. On my here, on here, 
he will receive a notification but i think it doesn't subscribe yet uh i think i have to on yet i haven't on <laughs> uh wait uh wait for a while so let me just on a notification yeah you can see that it was closing so let me just on okay and then i close close okay and then i click hello again and you can see ah message new message from new group so reno speak hello okay so let's say if i say okay again you actually stack the message you have two new message from new group yeah so let's say hello I, I so, oh, oh, okay then it become three new message yes so if you click the info i mean click the notifications right he will navigate you to that chat yeah very cool uh, so yeah you can see yeah you have seen the message yes so yeah you can type hello okay hello you can also see the message info like who read the message yeah just now i said okay so yeah that's for the notification okay yeah you show notification if the viewer is not being outside and talk, you will never get to check yes so let's talk about responsive design responsive design actually oh, this one is uh very responsive on desktop let's say if you click on this green info actually this on desktop view it was viewing like this and then oh, and then oh, uh you can uh like this like this so if you squeeze it it will become like this yeah like this so the group the right panel will take place to left panel so if you squeeze again yeah the right panel will also take i mean also again take place the left panel so it will view like a mobile it will also view like a desktop yeah very cool very cool yeah group info then you click on back back button back button yeah uh, you can also like uh even like directly click this back button to close all the thing yeah okay so got nested route yeah and then next is last thing service worker refresh service worker refresh is let's say uh, this one is actually for our development purpose only so let's say if i like uh, edit some stuff let's say if i edit uh, hello in here hello and then i click save click save so let's say uh, after I save it right, I have to NPM run build to build into production. Means that I have to uh, uh compile uh, yeah, compile uh, the the code to become bundle. Yeah. So right now let's just wait for a while to let him run the bundle. Uh. So this one might take time, you can skip. Uh this one might take like around five to five minutes, yeah, around five minutes. Five to seven minutes, yeah. So let's just wait. Uh. Yeah, that's why uh because it wait very long ma. so our development all is very painful. We have to always wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So uh no mind. Lah. At least we done it already. <coughs> Most of the time we are just waiting. Lah. So let's just wait. Okay. Still loading. <clears throat> okay let's just wait I think around 55 minutes will be done <clears throat> Still waiting. Still a long time. 
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, finally, okay. He built, and then uh, I go back to the app side, uh, I mean the apps. So I will just view two app here. So I go back here. Okay, so let's say if I refresh, refresh. Uh, let's say uh, if I refresh. Then you see that uh, you have new content available. Please refresh your page to update the content on site. Actually, uh, because, uh, because we are using cache, we, we are using progressive app to cache the page. The previous cache, I mean the new cache, uh, the, the code we have implemented have to replace the previous cache. So let's say I go to performance, eh, not performance I mean uh, application, yeah, application. You can see that the service worker, you can see the service worker, we have just built it, uh, compile it, you become, it's waiting, it's still waiting. We have to skip waiting if you click on it, uh, but we make it to become a UI to be clickable. Or else you have to go to Dev Tool to click on this skip waiting to skip the waiting. So I will just click on refresh. So once you refresh, right, you can see that ah, I mean you can see that the previous service worker will replace the the previous previous service worker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then yeah, you running. Yeah. So you got new document on your new catch. On a mobile also the same uh, On mobile. So let's say I go back here and refresh. Refresh. <clears throat> So uh, right now, I'm, you are still using the old cache, the old cache, you have to uh, click on refresh, click on refresh, then you become a new cache, yes. Yeah, okay, that's all for our video. Thank you for watching, okay. Yeah, so I will see you in next video. Bye-bye.